What I said before is that uh, if you look at what this government has been doing since inception, you could see announcements with limited thinking, which again produces limited outcomes. The temporality of it is like an announcement effect. You're just moving and suddenly, even just yesterday, like you said, 25 naira and 35 naira, that means it wasn't thought true. But let the presidential candidate of Labour Party, His Excellency Mr. Peter Obi, while you know granting an interview with Arise uh, Television in London, he talks about the fuel subsidy and the plan on how he was going to handle it differently. If you look at the effect of the fuel subsidy on Nigerians, you know, remove subsidy remover on Nigerians you will see that the prices of everything has gone up, you know, so high that Nigerians find it very difficult to even go to their workplace. Most people have resigned from their offices as a result of the fact that they can no longer afford, you know, to transport themselves from their houses to their offices and there is no increment of salary. On the independent day, the president, Bola Ambay Tinibu, promised that there's going to be an increment of 25,000 naira to lower cadre of federal government workers. But later make a U-turn after having a conversation with the labor union and trade union. Well, he said it was going to be a 35,000 naira for the period of six months to both the lower and the higher cadre of the federal, uh, federal civil servants. Now, that has sparked a lot of reaction. Personally, those palliative and uh, giving of palliative is not going to solve the issues that Nigerians are passing through. Giving them 35,000 naira for six months or three months, as the case may be, will not end the mayhem. What happened is, what are the policies to bring down the dollar? What are the policies, you know, to make sure that the economy is stable, to reduce the inflation rate? What are the policies, even with, with the fuel price up, what can we do different to make things, you know, easy for the common man on the street? These are what His Excellency Mr. Peter will be have to say about the removal of the subsidy and the corruption in it. What I said before is that uh, if you look at what this government has been doing since inception, you could see announcements with limited thinking, which again produces limited outcomes. The temporality of it is like an announcement effect. You're just moving and suddenly, even just yesterday, like you said, 25 naira and 35 naira, that means it wasn't thought true. But let me go back to the one I said, I listened to the announcement. Uh, they, a few uh, weeks ago, they announced that they're going to do 75 billion, if I'm right, to 75 companies over the next one year. They've done um, 150,000 Naira to what they call supposedly uh, small businesses. I will call it because they, it was micro businesses and things like that that they're going to give 50 million. And then, of course, they've come up with this new one. When I looked at that one, my first question is 75 billion to 75 companies. Are these companies in Ikorodu or the ones in uh, just Kaduna or in Inewi? Because for a good country like Nigeria, you're going to look, if it's looking at manufacturing outfits, you're going to be looking at about 10,000 companies, which for you to make any meaningful impact, you need to take about 1,000 of them and provide them the same 1 billion each, which will be about 1 trillion. If you look about, if you talk about, you know, micro and small businesses, you have about 40 million registered and registered in that cluster, and they're your engine of growth. And if you're going to start creating jobs and start turning around things, 50,000 today is approximately $50. So what you need to do is to at least, there's since there are four 
again, 40 million, take 10% of them and give them at least 1 million naira each, which is $1,000 as of today, so that you can start meaningfully trying to even create two, two jobs by making sure that each of them are okay. So there's, things have to be done differently, and it must be thought through with proper consultations and economic team that have sat down and analyzed this. It's not just announcing that, oh, we've done this to states. We've done, there must be, a, again, a coordination between the federal, the state, and local governments in trying to put through this difficult time. All right. So that was Mr. Peter Obi on subsidy removal and how he would have handled it different and how it wouldn't have caused this high level of hardship on Nigerians. But then, here we are, because he has not been yet declared as the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So therefore, we have to wait until Atiku Abubakar or... Pre, uh, f uh, former governor of Anambra State, His Excellency Mr. Peter Obi, has been declared as the president of Nigeria, either by the Supreme Court or in a rerun if this election is being nullified or disqualification of Bola Ahmed Tinibu as he has been confirmed to have forged the certificate he submitted to the Independent National Electoral Commission as a result of the deposition that happened at the United States Court yesterday where Nigerians were tagged as, you know, forgers as a result of the fact that they cannot authenticate or, you know, verify the certificate and they don't know where he got that certificate from. So you see, those are the issues that are bothering on Nigeria as of today. So what do you think? about this whole drama that is playing in Nigeria and what His Excellency Mr. Peter Obi said on first subsidy removal. Do you think that Nigeria will bounce back out of this whole hardship that the country is facing right now? Let's keep it cool. Remember, politics is not about emotion. It is about personal interest. And that is the reason why the politicians don't really care about the masses, but about themselves. Let's keep it simple. Let's roll it down at the comment section. Please do any subscribe if you have not done so. Thank you.